Hello, and welcome to the Pharmacy Informatics Professor 2020 with your host, Dr. Armin Simonian. I talked in the past about drug information references and talked about the fact that within those, you get a lot of good information. You get the uh, monographs on the drugs. You also get drug-drug interaction information. You have patient education information. And also you have uh, IV compatibility information. And I, what I want to do in this episode was talk about specifically the gold standard for IV compatibility information, that's TRISL's Handbook on Injectable uh, Medications. So let's go ahead and bring up a little presentation and talk about IV compatibility, specifically the reference that we use for that. And here we have uh, an older version of Lawrence A. Trissel's Handbook on Injectable Drugs. And the later version you see here is the 20th edition and um, still Trissel's. It is um, published by SHP and also uh, under the editorial authority of AHFS. Now, if you look at the major drug information references that I talked about in the previous episode, you will see that um, they use Trissels as their main IV compatibility uh, reference within those applications. Okay. As a pharmacist, when I was working as a clinical pharmacist, I was using Trissels all the time. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why it's useful and from a practical sense. And then why it's so important to be aware of this as a pharmacy informaticist so that when you are looking at drug information references, when you're looking at um, specific modules within those uh, major reference uh, from the vendors, you can be able to address some of the information that's uh, included that's going to be useful for your clinicians. So um, here's a couple of pictures that I grabbed from the ISMP website. And of course we have uh, the smart pumps included here because this is all about pharmacy informatics. So there's a technology there. But in our IV bag here, let's say the main bag, we could have a solution of normal saline, D5W, lactated ringers, something else. And within that we can have one or more additives, potassium chloride, sodium chloride, um, added sodium acetate, other uh, electrolytes, um, and in the case of a TPN solution, maybe 20 different ingredients, including uh, trace elements, electrolytes, proteins, fats, uh, carbohydrates, and other ingredients. So what Trissels does is it allows you, number one, to figure out, based on previous studies, whether or not different ingredients are compatible within a particular base solution of normal saline D5W or other base solution. And you can look at one ingredient or multiple ingredients within that solution to see if there's compatibility between the one drug and the solution, and then compatibility within multiple drugs within that solution. Now, we also have information on intermittent or piggyback um, addition. So typically we have antibiotics, let's say ampicillin, that might be run as an intermittent infusion. And again, within Trissels, you have information about the compatibility of ampicillin within normal saline and uh, D5W. And there are a number of different studies that are cited, and some of them will say that the solution uh, is, or the drug is compatible within that solution, and others say incompatible. And sometimes it's inconclusive, but depending on what the majority of studies say, you can be pr pretty confident that it's better to put ampicillin in normal saline than it is in D5W. Now, let's say that um, you want to run two different infusions into uh, the same pump, into the same patient. Now, we call this a Y site. So if you look here at the solution coming in from the main bag and the intermittent infusion, they come together and they mix at this point that we call the Y site. 
And then together they continue on uh, through the pump and into the patient's body. So there is a compatibility question when these two solutions mix. Now they are diluted. They're not a uh, solid drug. And so uh, within that concentration of that drug within each solution, when they mix, are they compatible? So Trissels, again, will give you that information. I used to get calls all the time from nurses, especially in the intensive care unit, where they might have had, uh, might have had three different lines going, um, or they might have uh, an availability problem with only one or two lines on the patient, and yet they had to run uh, many different drugs into the system. They had a dopamine drip going, and then they were giving multiple antibiotics and other medications through the IV route. And there were always questions about, could they run the drugs together within the, the Y site? So um, as a pharmacist, using this drug reference, you want to know when you receive the prescription or the order for an IV solution, um, are the ingredients, are the drugs that are included within that solution stable? and compatible. And then um, in the clinical realm, when you're having to run two different solutions through the same line, uh, through a Y site, are they compatible? All of this information is available in Trissels. It has been the gold standard for IV compatibility for a long time. And um, as a pharmacist, you need to be aware of that, especially if you're working in acute care and you have to deal with um, the provision of IV solutions um, on a daily basis. If this information was helpful for you, please like the video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll thank you for that. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, look after the health of others. I'll continue to work on more episodes, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.